Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Alexa Paselgi from Serbia versus Francisco Sanchez Ruiz from Spain. Ruiz to break from the right side. It's a race to nine, alternate break. The nine balls racked on the spot. Three object balls must go past the head string for a legal break. Three consecutive fouls by the same player is loss of game. Rue has made a very good break there. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. He made a good break there, I'll tell you that. These are like sitting ducks. He's just got to follow the, probably go follow it with high ball, or he could draw off the side rail too. Yep, I knew he would go like that with a high ball, two rails. That was the easiest way to get over there. Now he'll just follow this one off the bottom rail and come straight back down the middle of the table and try to get a shot for the six ball here in the other corner. I still don't know a lot about either one of these players. I think I've seen more of Ruiz, Ruiz is than I've had the other player. And this camera seems to be all right. Uh, the angle's not too bad. That was a good shot. He went two rails. Didn't know he had the angle to do that, but that was a proper shot. He'll just stun this off the rail with some, just below center with left. It's like that. He wants to try to create a little angle on the seven so he can bounce off the rail again. I think he's done that. Just below center with right. He'll use the rail again. Always use the cushions like that. It's a good way to play pool. He'll just roll this one. He'll draw it a little bit, probably, with a little bit of left. Or he rolled it with straight, came across. Could do that either way. Good shot. He'll just stun forward or draw back. Stun, stun forward. Ruiz takes the first game. Paselgi to break from the left side, hitting left bottom. Driving the cue ball to the side rail. Another good break. It's a legal break. Three balls are back pass. He only needed one because he made two on the break. Looks like the nine might be dead. He could just shoot with some left top and come out, stun the ball a little bit, and come out and get for the combination. Or he can just roll it in and bounce off the rail with a little bit of left and play the three in the corner or play the three in the side pocket. Shoot it kind of slow. He wants that combination. It goes barely. But he's got an easy out, too, if he just gets right on the three. But he's got to stay right on the three because the, the fours, he's going to shoot between the four and the, the seven and the eight to get the four ball. So this is critical that he lands right on the three for the side or the corner. Oh, he went around it. Yep, for the corner. Perfect. That was the right shot. Now he's perfect again. To, he'll just stun this ball into the rail or just draw back to the, draw off to the middle a little bit. Stunned it to the side rail. Perfect. With a little bit of left. He'll just come straight out around the eight with straight top. I don't think he'll risk going to another rail because the, the speed's critical if he does that. And he did go to the other rail. And he underhit it, way underhit it, just like I said. I thought he should have just come straight past, a little bit past the eight there with top. He'll just cut this in. He can whack it in and go one, two, three, four, and bounce right back to the middle of the table. Or he can, he's gonna slow roll in. I don't know what these rails are doing. I can see now the other angle looked like it was a harder shot. Looks like he can just roll it in and stand in the middle of the table, or he can go all the way around the table, like I said, with a lot of spin. Just like I said, like that, but he scratched. He didn't hit it with enough bottom. If he would have hit it with a little more bottom, he would have did exactly what I said. Two nothing Ruiz, breaking from the right side. Drawing the cue ball to this right, to the rail. 
the right bottom. That's another good break. The two ball landed in a trap. It's dead. Unless he can fire this in and, and get back and hit it somehow. Actually, it might go just barely. Looks like. He can just draw to the side rail and have a cut at it. Take a little longer shot. I've seen Ruiz play before, yeah, now I've seen him play a little more, but the other guy, Paselgi, I haven't seen him play that much. Lap bottom, draw the rail. Yeah, this uh, Ruiz has a good game. I've seen him a few times. Haven't never played him yet. Looks like he can barely make it, or he can try to make it, and it won't go. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like to me it barely goes. He'll just roll this with a little bit of right just to get off that rail. Or he might not be afforded to hit it with any right. He might have to hit it with straight ball and just barely go two rails and get back for the three. Just like that. Beautiful. Good shot. He's fortunate that ball would go that easily it's the way it got tied up. He's just going to roll this one in nice and slow. He might drag the cue ball. These guys like dragging the ball. He did drag it a little bit. He can put a lot of right on this and spend two rails, or it looks like he can go right between the eight and nine too, with a little bit of left. He'll probably spend two rails just to be safe, like that. That's the right shot. He hit that kind of on the middle. He'll just stun to the rail with right middle, or he'll stop, try to hold the ball right there. He's got a kind of a 50-50 shot on it. He stunned to the rail, like I said the first time. He wanted to hit it a little bit harder because he landed a little bit funny. He might have to follow two rails now with left top. This would be a, a commanding lead to start out with, 3 nothing. Left top, go two rails. He plays a lot like... A, shot, a lot of shots like I do, so he might not be too hard to commentate. He'll draw this or roll it. He's going to draw it out. Draw off with left bottom. Real good shot. He landed perfect on the nine. He'll just draw over a little bit like that. Three nothing. Paselgi to break from the left side. Left bottom. Driving the cue ball to the side rail. And he didn't make anything which is rare. It seems like everybody makes two, three balls. I've never seen tables break like these. These cushions are real live on these tables, though, over there in Europe. Europe. Uh, dynamic. They're very live rails. They would be a good rail with a heat if they had some heat in them on the table. Then they would slow down just a little bit. It seems like a pretty good table. I like the way the rails bounce. If they get a little bit wet, though, they would probably get worse. It's not as wet over there in Europe. They seem to be calmer over there than they would over here, probably. Get them in somewhere in a wetter climate, it'd probably uh, expose them more. Left bottom on this, draw off the side rail. He's looking at the combination on the five because he's got no choice. It's impossible for him to get back and get the three because the three didn't hardly have a pocket the side pocket but he couldn't hardly get on it he's just going to put a lot of right on this and just slow roll it come over to the side rail and get right for the th for the three five combination and he doesn't know exactly what's going to happen with the three ball he's just going to play for something he'll hit it with he won't hit it too hard and he'll stop the cue ball there too because the three's probably going to come back out i don't know if it's going to hit the seven or not and it, well he hit it hard enough it stayed right there because it hit the seven ball good shot i really couldn't tell they would have showed me that angle right there in the beginning i would have known more about it overhead really doesn't help me it doesn't justify what i'm trying to commentate or see views like this tell me a lot He's got to put a lot of left on this. This is a tough shot. And he hit it well. That's a real hard shot. A lot of people don't realize how hard that shot is. You can miss that shot real easy. You actually have to overcut the ball. 
because the ball curves real quick on that shot. And he's got a tough one here. He's got to go all the way around the table with inside. And, uh, or he can draw just before the side, go under the nine, and then come back over. Or he's going to try to just draw over and play the six past the seven. Yeah, that was no good. I would have went to three rails. I would have taken a chance on that shot because he was in a uh, no man's land, as you call it. So that's a big uh, break for uh, Paselgi. I'll tell you that because he was looking pretty bad there if uh, Ruiz would have ran out that rack. But that's the nature of pool. It's a hard game. You can't get out every time. And little mistakes happen. That's how players come back. Right bottom on this. Draw back to the side rail right over there with the eight ball. He'll probably hit this one some inside and hit it slow. Or he'll go around the nine ball. He could put it, hit it with a little bit of inside and go around the nine too, or he's hitting it with right somehow. He's gonna just like spin it real slow like this and play for the side or the corner. Boy, I don't like the way he shot that. He got away with it. He should have hit that with inside somehow. He landed all right, a little bit of left bottom on this, just cut it in. He landed all right. It could have got right on top of it. But that's a big break for him. Ruiz to break, right side, Ruiz is leading, 3-1, right bottom, right side, drawing the cue ball to the side rail. Wow, look at these breaks, it's crazy. It's like they're on a table with eight inch pockets or something. It's the rails that do it though. The rails have a lot of speed and it just helps the balls find pockets. He's got a carom here. Airframe would just play the nine like a like a gimme. It's a tough one though, because you gotta hit it with spin, a lot of spin, this one. He's I don't think he'll take the billiard on. Unless he might cut the one on the nine. That way it gives him a little safe if he doesn't make it. Or he'll play safe. He could cut for the one and play he can't make the nine if he tries to cut the one in the corner. It won't make it. And you could shoot it with left spin and keep the one thinner and make the nine, but I still think it's harder to make it like that. I think the easiest way to make the carom is with right spin, like right middle and just like slow roll it and hit a little thicker on the one. Or he can hit it. I think that's so funny. He could bank the one over underneath the four and put the cue ball under the three a little bit. That's not a bad shot because he's got a lot of blockers down there. If he gets the one under the, but I don't think he'll do that. The nine's so tempting. It's just, but it's no easy shot because it's sitting just a little tricky. But I think Airframe would pull it off and maybe I would. I don't know. He's going to do what I said. He's going to draw, I think, like that and put it behind the nine. Good shot. One way or the other, he was going to put that ball there and the one down there. He wasn't going to go for the the, uh, the carom. He did an excellent job on the safety. He came real close to scratching on that. That was real tricky. The way as good uh, the way he hit that so good because that was real tricky. This is a tough ball to hit. He's just going to shoot straight into the rail underneath the nine at an angle, and try to go to the side rail. I think and hit it like that. And he'll hit just before the side and, and try to hit the one ball, two rail kick. I don't, one rail seems a little more difficult because he can't cue as much as the, of the cue ball. If he kicks two rails, he can see more of the cue ball and get more momentum on the shot. He hit it like medium speed, not real hard, but medium kind of hard. I think he's going to try to go. He might go one rail. I don't know. He should go. He went one rail. Wow, that was cool. 
Good shot. He got away with it, too. He left... Uh, Left him a shot. I thought he was going to shoot. <laughs> He's looking to see. Uh, you want to kill a guy when he does that. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, he didn't leave him a, a pocket on this one ball. It won't go past the eight. He can't cut it aside. He could bank it one row. But uh, that's uh, probably not what he's going to do. He's going to play some kind of safe. Of course, if he tries to bank it and send the cue ball over here by these balls, the four and the six, the cue, the one could go underneath the three somehow down there and not leave a shot. These rails are so live that some shots are uh, not as doable as they appear sometimes. But like I said, I, I, I like the cushions because I wouldn't have to shoot too hard to move the ball off the rails and stuff. These tables don't play too bad from what commentary I've done on them. But like I said before, they haven't been exposed to the, the elements of this country. Uh, I'd like to see these rails. Would, you'd have to heat the table over here probably. I can tell you right now, this, if these rails, if these tables had heat on them, though, they would play ideal. And then they'd have to put a little deeper slate on the pocket. I think the ball falls in too easy off the, the drop off. See, he's looking at what I just said, I think, with the cue ball. He wants to send it over here and bank the one back. Unless he's going to bank the one over here and send the cue ball down under the three. You know, I don't even think he can do what I was thinking about. If he can cut it thin enough, it'll miss the side. But I knew this shot was tricky the moment it landed there and it would take them forever to shoot it. It is tricky. There's just nothing to defend yourself with, literally. He could bank this ball around the table, three rails somehow too, and send the cue ball down towards the eight. That's not the worst shot maybe. Well, he did what I said before. Crossed the ball. He left the nine. He left the McCarron on the nine. He'll just play off the one, no spin, straight ball. He's got to hit the one a little bit thin. He can't hit it too thick. If he hits it too thick, I don't think he'll make it. It's kind of, it's not sitting as easy as it appears. He's got to hit it better than normal. That's what I thought. He would hit it, the one nine thick. That ball rolled all right, so it's not the worst shot in the world. <laughs> he loves coming over and looking at your shot. I know guys years ago would kill you for that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, he's got a tricky shot here. Yeah, it's real tricky, this one. So tricky, I don't know what to do. I don't know if he's going to try to come back behind the three with right top. Or he's going to try to play one of these balls. I, I'm not sure if the cue ball might carry him the four ball in. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. I don't know that I've ever played on this table. He may try to hit behind. No, he don't want to knock the one down here. He keeps looking at something down there. I don't know what it is exactly. I would try to make the cue ball hit, cut the one into the six and try to make the cue ball come over to the side rail behind, but down by the nine and the three. I mean, I literally don't see nothing else. Unless he can cross the one back down the table and get something kind of safe. Yeah, I thought that's what was, 
he was going to play the three. The, of course, I can't tell from this angle, but I did call that, that he could play the carom. It was sitting so easy, I don't know why it took him that long to play it. That was a gimme, literally. Now he's just going to try to play the combination. He can't play the carom because he would have to hit the one, two, thin. That's too risky. He'll just slow roll this. Yeah, he don't want to hit it hard because he might go straight back and scratch. So this is either do or die. That's what you call this shot right here. Literally, is do or die, probably. He's got to watch out he doesn't scratch in the side or the corner. But it would be really uh, horrific if he scratched in the side. But I scratched on a shot like that in the World Tournament one time. It was unbelievable. The scratch I made in the semifinals. He's just going to slow roll. Or he'll hit it harder, whatever his preference. It's do or die, that shot. And he died on it. Still left kind of tricky. Paselji, he'll just follow this with straight top and come and go one side rail, bottom rail, and come out and play the combination. But he could get the cue ball over there too, I think, with some spin somehow. But I think he was just looking at the combination. He can draw this too, I think. It looks like he can draw it to right bottom. Hit it kind of firm. Because he didn't have a lot of angle. He had to hit that hard. And he got perfect on this. These are never easy shots. Combinations are just... Even when they look easy, they're tricky. Especially when they're away from the hole, like away from the pocket a little distance. If they're closer to the pocket, a little easier. He'll put a little right on it, and they'll just cut the nine in. It'll move the three. You see how big that pocket is? He missed that shot, actually. 3-2, Ruiz leads. Breaking from the left side is Paselgi. He made a good break, but he has no shot. He's, he's got a safety, and I don't know if it's that easy. He's just going to roll it and put it behind the nine, looks like, but I don't think that shot's on either. He can roll and, yeah, maybe he can, just barely do it. Uh, I knew that shot wasn't on. I could tell he showed a little inexperience there on that shot. But he missed the combination. He missed it. That's why I was talking about the table needs a little deeper uh, shelf. The drop-off's too soft for professionals. All right, he'll just draw straight back and bounce off the rail. Unless that three doesn't go past the six, he might stun under and play the six in the other corner. Nope, he drew straight back like I said. This ball goes then. And it's perfect. Now he'll just stop right there. He'll try to make the cue ball move just a little bit backwards maybe so he can use the rail to bounce off, or he could still stay right there and just stop on the four because he's got a perfect angle on the six. And he did move the ball a little bit. I don't know if he needed to do that, but it'll give him a better angle if he uses the rail now. If he'll just bounce off the rail just a little bit. That's what you amateurs need to see how he did that? Use that rail a little bit like that. He hit it a little bit too hard because he wanted a little more angle. Now he's going to have to pound this one, but he's still all right. I think he'll just stun into the rail again with right, just below center with right. Stun right into the rail like that. Use the rails. All you avid players out there, weekend players, players that play at home, wherever, use the rails right top. He'll go two rails like that. Perfect. I like the way these rails play. They just need a deeper slate. Now stun the ball. He'll either draw it to the side rail or stun it forward. He drew it to the side rail. That was a very important game. But he redeemed himself off that little mistake a while ago. Ruiz to break from the right side, leading 4-2.
driving the cue ball with right bottom to the side rail. One ball's going in. He's lucky the other ball went in. That would have been a foul break if the other, if he wouldn't have made two balls. Yeah, it would have been, but two balls in and one ball back is a legal break. All right, he'll just either bank this cross side with a little left bottom and draw over, just like that. Perfect. And I got that in. This guy plays quick, sometime. And he'll put right top, go two rails, out past the eight and the nine. Or he'll draw back. No, he went two rails. That's exactly what he was supposed to do. Perfect. He'll draw back for the side. A little bit of left bottom, he'll just draw it just a little. Like that, off the rail. Good shot. He'll put, he'll put right top on this and bounce off the rail and get a little angle on that seven so he can go one rail down the table or two. A little bit of right, like that. A little angle. That's perfect. He likes going two rails. I, I like using the two rails always for position. A lot of players like going one rail, but I like two. A little bit of right top, not much. Go two rails like that. See, these rails are real responsive, and I like that. These tables play nice over there. A little bit of left bottom, draw back. Table's nice and dry, too. Left bottom, draw the side rail. Draw over. 5 2. That was a big game for Ruiz. He's redeemed himself off that little mistake and he got a little help from Seljic. Seljic broke left side, right bottom, didn't foul the break. He didn't get a. He, he, he has a look at the one ball, but he doesn't have a pocket. He's got to play safe again. But that, that safety was a bad safety a while ago. But that's pull. We all do it. He has a tough safety here. Tell you the truth. Um, he's going to cross the ball somehow and send the table, the cue ball down table maybe. Or he can cut the one to the bottom rail and use the seven ball as a ball to block him with, put him behind. He really doesn't have a whole lot here, I'll be honest with you. If he comes up with something else, so I thin the ball and come down underneath the six somehow with spin and, and try to get a safe that way. Or he might go for something else. Wow. I don't like that now. Oh, well, he's got a shot, but I can't tell with his overhead if he can miss that six ball and get on the combination. And the combination looks kind of strange, but I think it goes. His problem here is getting away from the six ball, and he can't do it. I can see that. Unless he jacks up and draws with inside ball and kills the cue ball off the bottom rail and off the side rail. I think he's just gonna, he's gonna make it and crash into the six ball. He's gotta hope it don't scratch in the corner. Off the edge of it, looks like. Sometimes I think this is what kills pool, is we waste a lot of time in pool. We need to play a game where you're shooting all the time. He's either gonna draw it over or crash into that six ball a little bit. 
You know, he's he's going to try to like sent you. It's a tough shot. Boy, he hit that good. Real good. That was a great shot right there. This kid, I've seen him play. He's got a lot of talent. I'd like to see him play placement pool and put him on a clock where he can't waste no time. Put them all on a clock. Everybody needs to be under pressure all the time. Them golfers, if they were on a clock, you put them on a 24-second 20, shot clock, they'd all shoot 75, 78, 79. The better, the guys that could handle the clock would shoot the good scores. They wouldn't be, it's like watching paint dry now, watching them. He's gonna fire this in, draw into the four like that. I knew that ball was sitting funny. I knew it wouldn't go. If, unless you got over there with it, maybe, on the rail. He left him funny. It's a tough shot right here. It's impossible to get out of this. It's funny, you have an easy shot and you can't even get out of it. All you can do is just draw to the rail. He can't, literally can't do nothing from here. Crazy game, this is what I hate about pool. Guy misses a shot and leaves you a trick shot. That's what I like about placement pool. You're playing your own game. You ain't playing off his mistakes. Wow, that was a good shot. I didn't know he could get to this side of that ball. Can't always tell. I had no idea he could hit the side of that ball. I thought it was going certainly the other to the side row. Good shot though, either way. Because he had to hit that one inside. That was a really good shot. He's gonna stun this and go to the side rail. And he's gotta hit it real hard like that. Good shot. That was a nice shot. He'll just roll this with straight ball. He could put a little left on it if he wants, just to check it. He probably did a little bit. Now just hold it so he can go two rails. You always want to go two rails on this shot. A little bit of right top, two rails. That was a big game for the Selleck. I'll tell you that. Left bottom draw over. Selji. Uh, Ruiz leads five to three. Ruiz breaking from the right side. He's got a ball in. He did that twice right there. It's unreal. The one ball went and hit the other point on the other side and went back in the other side. That's like amazing. I think it did it twice in a row on his break. I know it did it once before. I can't remember if it was the last break or not. That is like uh, crazy seeing that happen twice in a row. But a uh, little bit of uh, error for Paselgi there. Uh, he was gasping for error at 5-2, and that's got a little reprieve off of a Ruiz mistake there. He's got a tough safety, I can tell you that. And he don't want to go for the nine, probably. He's looking at it. But maybe if he goes for it, he can send the cue ball back down table. That might be worth going for if he can get the cue ball back down the table, and that's what he's gonna do. He'll hit this with a straight ball, and he's gotta be careful with don't scratch. It's like, it's gonna get close. Well, he went ahead and played the safe. Yeah, he knew that was a, uh, a low percentage going for the, cause the scratch was actually on too, if you don't hit it just right. But I tell you, he left it funny tell you that. The ball's frozen on the rail. He's just going to try to bank the one, the two ball by the nine and use like the three, let the cue ball come over by the three. But the problem with these shots now is that the rails are so quick that it's even trickier, these shots now. And it's frozen. He's got to hope it don't double kiss or curve going down the table or something. You had a little bit of mercy here. Or he might bank the two back around the table down here too, somehow. Beautiful shot. He had to hit that so good. I'll tell you, 
Because these rails are like, they need flippers. I'm telling you. But they play good now. I, I, as far as what I see on here, I like the way they play. He's going to kick this. He'll have to hit it kind of firm to hold the line. I always hate this kick because you, you don't know how hard to hit it ever. Unless he rolls it, he sends it wider and rolls it. No, he's going to try to hit it firm. He's just playing for something good to happen. Wow, it did. Unless this ball gets right in front of the hole. Well, he got a little unlucky that that ball got there. This still isn't an easy shot, though. But he's fortunate he didn't scratch, too. I'll say that, but it would scratch for me. But he has a shot. I think he's got to jack up and fire this ball. He can't roll this. He can't get no position on the three. Unless he comes, rolls it in and fires it in and comes back towards the eight. I've had all these shots before, probably way before these guys. He's still looking at rolling it the way he looked then. I would jack up and fire this ball a little bit. He's going to roll it, though. He's going to try to come back towards the eight somehow or go around the nine. It doesn't look like he can. Yeah, I didn't like that shot because he's going to run right into the eight ball. He hit it good, though. I will give him credit for that. He made a real good shot. He's just going to thin the three, go two rails behind the four, and put the three behind the eight nine. The only problem with this shot is he's got to be careful about the rails again. Five three, this is a big game for him. He needs to win this game. If he loses this game, it could be curtains. A little bit of left top he'll put on this. Nice and smooth, because the rails are going to help it a lot. That ain't bad. He got him behind the, the eight nine. That was well well judged that he put it behind the eight nine. He's got an easy hit on it, but still, you know, there's not a lot of uh, traffic. There's not a lot of traffic out there for this ball to get behind. He's gonna have to get extremely lucky just to get a save, but it happens or make the ball. You see how he's looking there, away from the the three, kind of. He wants to spin into it. But this ball is sitting funny on the rail. It's hard to get leverage when you get close to the rails. It's hard to get the correct spin and get hit into a ball the way you want to a lot of times when you're close to the rail. But he does have enough air to create a little something there where he can get down in the middle of the ball and stuff and get a lot of spin on it. He wants to kick it slow, but then he says in his mind that that ain't gonna do me no good. And then, cause he knows how fast the rails are. <laughs> it's playing on your mind. A lot of guys can't play on rails like this. I might be one of them still, I don't know. But I've noticed the rails lately, it seems like the tables are too slow anymore lately. He could kick this two rails. I think kicking it two rails is the better shot. He's got a chance to get safe that way because he could kick the three right towards the side ball and then the cue ball will, and the, cue, the three ball will go towards the corner on the right down there where he's standing on his left. And the cue ball can bounce behind these balls possibly. But he, he likes to kick on the three one rail because it's easy to hit it. If he kicks it slow, he could use the seven ball somehow with spin. That might be the right shot. Hit it with a lot of spin, try to spin into it. See how he's looking like that? He wants the ball to spin into it. You amateur players and you uh, weekend players, when you kick these kind of shots, spin into them with a lot of spin. If you're not against the rail completely, it's hard to do when you're against the rail. But I've got plenty of time to write a couple of books here on this shot, that's for sure. Here he goes, see how he's shooting away from it. He'll shoot it kind of medium speed and spin into it like that. 
I just knew he was going to sell out kind of on that the whole time, I guess. Now here's a shot on a slower table would be a hard shot. He can go right around on this. I mean, don't he, yeah. I think he's got to worry about his scratching, maybe. I think it's going to come up short, though. These rails are so live. On a, any other table, it would go towards the corner almost. But he can just fire this in and go right around real easy. It's just going to help help the ball. He's jacking up and drawing it a little. I didn't like that because he's going to scratch. Oh, he's lucky there. He was supposed to roll that ball. He wasn't supposed to jack up on it. He shot that shot wrong, got away with it. And he knows it too now. He'll remember that. Great little roll we got there. He's going to follow this or he'll go. He's going to go come back right where he is almost. Like that, shoot the seven down in the other corner. And that was well hit. That shot works well on these tables, too, on these rails, that shot he just shot. Now he'll put right bottom, aim a little thick on the ball, and just stun off just a little. He might go far enough to shoot the eight in the same corner or, or shoot the eight in the left-hand corner as we look. The left-hand corner as we look, good. Either way, he could have got on it. He'll put a little left bottom and just draw over a little, just stun over. Like that. You spin on those, you know, let's move right over. I'll just put right bottom and just draw back a little like that. It's done over. That was a big game for uh, Paselgi. Left side, Paselgi to break. Left bottom, driving the cue ball to the side rail. Look at this table break. Wow, I just go right in. He got a shot that time. He's been getting unlucky on the break. Ruiz is leading 5-4. He has a shot on the one. He can stun this ball and go two rails or draw back. I can't tell exactly. The overhead really won't ever tell me exactly what I need to know. It's just, it's, I can't, okay, there we go. He's going to draw back. It may hit the five a little, I don't know. He's worried about what the cue ball is going to do. Looks like to me he can just draw right off the five ball. And if he doesn't go back, he'll stay right there and still have a shot on the two. He wants to follow it, though, I think. He's drawing, though. I don't know if he'll miss the five or not, or the seven. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. I can follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. He gave me time enough to throw that in. He should just draw back. These guys, uh, they labor a lot. I don't think this shot's that difficult, is it? Maybe he's trying a little gamesmanship, which I don't like. That's why there's got to be a clock and pull. A short one, too, where you're, like, gurgling. Where you can't you just... You're so nervous you can't even play. I think it should be that way. This drawback and, and touch the fire or whatever, I miss it. He just ain't sure that it's going to... With the cue ball, I don't know why... He's taking this long, unless the one won't go. Sure looks like it'll go to me. God, the one ball wouldn't go. Is that what he was looking at the whole time? Wow. Good shot. I never knew for a... That's why they, the overhead couldn't tell me that. They never could pan in good enough to let me know that that ball wouldn't go. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Because I thought for the whole time it would go in. That was a good safety. Now I see why he was so perplexed over the shot. Is because he had to play a safety. Shucks. I never, ever thought that that ball wouldn't go. He left a pretty tough shot. He's gonna, probably going to jump this. 
The only problem with that, he can't get a lot of leverage on it because it's close to the rail. But he could probably still make it. Cue ball will probably go forward when he makes it. I don't see him backing this ball. Maybe he could back it up if it hits right on it, kind of. But this is tricky when it's close to the rail. I don't think you have no problem getting over it, but it just makes it, it magnifies the shot a little bit when it's close to the rail like this. He'll put a little left on it. He almost made it. And he did get the ball to come back, which was pretty good. Not bad at all. He almost made that ball too. But he did do one thing, important thing. He, he messed up the four ball just a little bit. He can get to it though. Paselji can get to it two rails off the two ball or draw back perfect. He wants to float over and get an angle with left top to the middle or draw back off the rail. He drew back. Now he'll have to hit this pretty good. I can't tell if he's gonna draw, he's gonna draw it. This is tricky right here now. He couldn't get on the two railer cause the six ball had him. He's gonna draw back and try to fit it right where he can make the four. No, he went forward. He could still get to the two rails. It looked like he had no angle on that shot. It's perfect now. The only thing is, is he's got a Worry about what happens with the five ball. He'll probably try to come back between the two, five and the seven. Because I don't think he can draw it and hold the cue ball. Unless he can draw back into the seven ball with spin a little. That's a little better angle for me. He could draw back around it, maybe, or just miss the seven or just hit it coming back. Yeah, just hit it coming back like that. Perfect. This match is starting to look a lot better now. It was way out of hand, but Baselgi has uh, fought hard. Got a few breaks from Ruiz. He'll just follow this two rails and try to get right in the middle. But these rails are tricky. You can overhit real easy. Right there is where he wants to be. Even a little further right there would be perfect. But that's tricky. He needs to hit this with a little bit of right so it checks it. Then he can be a little bit aggressive and it won't get away from him. And he probably did, see? It, it slowed the ball down. You can see it knuckleballed. It didn't spin the other way coming around. He landed a little bit on the seven though. That he didn't want, but he's still all right because it's out of the way, just barely. Now these are tricky shots. Do you fire it in and go all the way around the table or do you just slow roll it two rails with left? He'll hit on the center of the ball with a little bit of left and go two rails or a little higher on the ball and go all the way around the table. He missed that ball, see? That's that, that shelf ain't deep enough he didn't, he didn't make that one in my book. He, he missed it. And I was right about that shot. You missed that shot a lot. You hit it short. He's going to draw back. I th he should stun to the side rail, but he might can just draw right over with left and get on the eight, just like that. See, he should have stunned that to the rail. That's why I like stunning the ball to the rail. He's got just enough room to stun the ball or he's going to draw it somehow. I think he's got just enough room to stun two rails, but it may nick the nine inch scratch if he tries that. Or he's going to roll it and bump the nine. No, he drew it like that. He had just enough room to draw it too. He'll draw this out past the side. Like that, good shot. Five all, Ruiz to break from the right side. 
right bottom, driving the cue ball to the side rail. Good break. Look at that. One went right in the side. He made two balls. He got two balls back. Legal break. No shot, though. It will go in the corner, I think. This right-hand corner looking on our screen. But I tell you, that is a tricky shot if he makes it. He could shoot real slow and bump it too and put him behind the eight. But these rails are a little bit quick, so that shot's tricky. And you're always worried about the ball rolling off a little bit. That's not a bad shot. It's there. It may be his only safe. He could bank the two straight back up the table. Shucks, it could go around the eight and scratch. He looks like Steve Davis when he does that. <laughs> That's what Davis used to do. Stand there with his arm, his stick cradled in his arms. He was a character, wasn't he? The nugget. Yeah, he ought to just take a chance and roll him right on the eight. He still can't sell out completely. <coughs> Excuse me. He's a nice kid, too. I've met him a couple of times. I've never played him, but I think he's a nice guy. I don't say that about too many openers. <laughs> I won't even say that about myself. He's going to roll out. Oh, he's a roll out to a jump shot. That's crazy. Uh, is he going to jump safe now? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Now what? I couldn't. I called the other shot. That other shot was so difficult. He should have taken on that slow roll safety. That's what I believe. Certainly, Paselgi is going to let him shoot this shot. I don't know what he's looking at here. He's just kind of jump and cross it now and bank it back. I mean, he's got to get luckier now than he was before, as far as I'm concerned. He's just going to try to jump it with some kind of speed and cross it, that's all I know. I'd like to see them play placement pool with that clock. All these guys can play, but they I don't know if everybody's on the same page when it comes to playing behind more pressure and having to play quicker and having to think quicker. I don't know if everybody uh, is the same in that department. I know they're not. That's why I exercise so much so, that I, so I can handle pressure, especially as I get older. I certainly don't understand why he rolled out behind the ball, especially. He rolled out where he could see it. Eh, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't think he does either. He's going to try to bank the ball underneath the seven somehow? No. Try to combo the eight? Well, well he did leave it a little funny. He left the bank shot. It's an easy bank. He's got to worry about the position. If he could draw it a little just under the five and bounce off and shoot the three in the side pocket. But the, the, sometimes it makes the bank harder if you try to uh, finesse it instead of go ahead and hitting it. He looked for the side pocket. Looks like he's going to... Oh, he can cut it in and go over in between the eight and the three. No, he banked it. I know why he missed that, because he tried to go in between the five and the three, and that made the bank real awkward. And I said that just before, if you try to do something other than make the bank, it becomes way more difficult, the bank. He tried to hit it with a flat ball. That shot's real hard with a flat ball. The only guy I know can make that shot consistently with a flat ball is uh, Efren. He's real good at banking with a flat ball. Nobody banks better than him with a flat ball. So, 
And look, he's got a good roll. But he, I guess he knew he might get a little break, too, the way he hit it. He was ideal on a three. Roll that in and get on the four. This is a tough kick. You either scratch or... I hate this shot right here. I would jump this. I wouldn't even kick at it. I mean, if I was allowed to jump it. <laughs> He's going to jump this because he ain't going to kick at it because it's a, a death shot. I know uh, a dead man shot kicking at it. I'll tell you what, he did pretty good there. He hit that with speed. That was... Even though he kind of cheated it with that jump cue, it was intelligent how good he shot it. He jumped it and just fanned it and drew the cue ball. He should just take this shot on, not even think about it. Just fire the four right in. All he's got to do is just fire. It's easy if he gets it on line. He's got to hit it kind of hard to get the two to come over, though. But he's looking at a safety, I think. He's going to roll the two ball at the eight and let the cue ball come down to the bottom rail. Just lightly touch the two over to the eight. I don't even think he's looked at the combination. Scores 5-5, five, five. it's a big game. A lot of uh, comedy of errors in this one, this uh, game here. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. This is a Euro Tour event. I'm just going to slow roll this or play the combination. Wow, he did that. That ain't bad, I'll tell you. Good shot. I guess he figured that was about all he had. I tell you, he's fortunate to get that safety with the way these rails are. It was a hell of a shot. Still an element of luck, though. Any way you look at it. Boing and across the rails like that. But at the same time, he wasn't going to sell out uh, the game because he was going to get the two on the bottom rail or down this way. That was a heck of a shot. It really was. He's left him really in a, a predicament now. He probably has left him the kick scratch shot now. The old kick scratch shot. And when you scratch on 100 out of 100, especially under pressure, he wants to jump it. <laughs> he wants to kick the other way because he might not scratch. He's going to kick it hard with bottom. Wow, he hit that perfect. Look at this. Huh. Wow, that is amazing. He put the cue ball right back where it was. Now you tell me what a game pool is. <laughs> it's the hardest game in the world. People don't realize it. That's why athletes don't play pool. It's because it's too difficult. They don't want to embarrass themselves. We don't mind hanging ourselves out the dry. He's going to kick two rails with left, spin, or he might kick one rail straight into it. He's looking down there, two rails now. You tell me what a fortunate shot that, that Ruiz just made. He could kick that shot a thousand times and never probably do what he did there. It's just mind-boggling that that could happen at that stage. And, because LG didn't even think that was ever going to happen, I guarantee you that. He thought he'd made a great shot. Kick it with some left. He may hit it hard trying to knock the nine ball in somehow. No, he's going to kick. He might scratch on that one if he hits the top of the ball. He's going to kick two rails. He may try to shoot it with different spin so that it comes off funny. He got away with it. That ain't bad, I'll tell you that. 
These guys are living good, I'll tell you that. As many times as they've kicked safe so far, they're, they're either praying or doing something right. I don't know what it is. I'm not doing the right thing, obviously. I can't get a roll, not even in a bakery. But he's even snookered him on this shot. I didn't think he snookered him, but he did. He's got an easy escape, though. He'll just put a lot of spin on it. And kind of hit high on the ball. And he'll knock the two ball over here by the five. It'll probably hit somewhere in the middle of the rail, near the middle diamond maybe, if he kicks it correctly. And he might get the cue ball to stay there, behind the seven somehow, or it might float over and he might use the three, nine, five somehow. Yeah, he hit it almost where I said, wow, I believe that ball didn't fall in with them Usually they, they fall right in when they get close. It even looks like he got him with the point. Look, all the, look at all the, see he hit that a little bit poorly and he got away with it. It's lucky that I could have called that scratch but I didn't think he was gonna hit it that poorly. He didn't hit underneath the ball enough. The cue ball actually shouldn't have went over there. It should have stayed closer to the seven or I can't tell if he can see this ball or not. I guess he can see it. He's going to try to thin the ball and use the five and the nine and the three for a safety and hit it kind of slow. He's got no choice. But these guys have been fooling me a lot on some of these safeties, so. But I know he's got to shoot this one slow. We try to make, he ain't going to try to make it, I don't think, no way. Shoot it slow, use the five, and the, or the nine, or the three, see? Beautiful. That was well done. This is a hard ball to hit now. I'll tell you that. The one thing he's got going for him here is the rails are lively. If this was a, a slower rail, a mushier rail, he couldn't hit this ball, not going to the bottom rail. He would have to kick down the bottom rail and put spin on it and go past the eight ball somehow. Or kick three rails to miss the three and hit it. He might wound up having to do that anyway. He might have to kick three rolls to hit this ball. But I think he's got just enough room to play this shot. He'll hit near the diamond there, the middle diamond, and he'll jack up with the cue, and, but he can't over hit it. He's got to pop it just enough to where it'll draw off the rail just a little, but it's real hard to make the ball draw off the rail when you're in this position with the cue ball. And the nine sitting just right where it's, it's got him just a little concerned. But I think the rail will help him execute this shot, but he still ain't sure that it's doable going under that bottom rail. I was thinking he's gonna have to shoot underneath the seven and go three rails. Play the great Willie Moscone shot and cut the, th the two into the four, not just. <laughs> There he goes. Yeah, he had just enough room. I just ain't believing the rolls these guys are getting. I couldn't get two rolls like this in a row. Finally, he left the guy a shot. I mean, for as lively as these rails are, I can't believe the game could last that long. There's too much luck in pull. I, you, I want to play a game where there's no luck. You just shoot. I want to see a guy truly out shoot me and not out roll me with all these lucky rolls. He's going to draw off the nine somehow. I don't, he's going to get a, I don't know what he's going to get. He got, I'd say death there, looks like. You know, it looks like the ball will still go past the four, 
and he could go in between the five and the corner and get shape. I don't think that. He's going to shoot the three in the corner, maybe, on our right here, and go into the four. He could make the four, too, real easy if he hits it just right. Wow, oh, good shot. He missed the four. Which that's what he was supposed to try to do. Missed the four. Can't always tell exactly what they're dealing with from this far away or this, these angles are going. They zoom in once in a while. That gives me a better description. He'll draw this, I think, because the nine's in the way of following it. He needs to just draw back somehow, but these rails are so lively, these shots scare him a little bit. He won't overhit because it'll do something funny. He got a good roll there. He didn't know exactly what was going to happen. And he got another good break, but he got dead straight in this time. It still looks like he can follow it because he can cheat the pocket a little, I think, or he's got to draw straight back. I think he'll just follow off the rail with a little bit of right. These rails will help, or he can just draw back a little bit with right bottom. That'll bring the cue ball over. Oh, he drew all the way back. Should have called that too. I was going to say that too. He can draw all the way back. God, it didn't look like he was going to do that. Of course, like I said, I can't ever see exactly what they're doing. I'm doing pretty good for what I got. This ain't no uh, golf crew televising this, I'll tell you. We need some of their cameras following a ball around the air. Left top, come down for the nine. He'll go two rails. If he didn't go two rails there, I was going to quit. Now just stop. I still like to see these guys play placement pool. 6-5, Paselgi leads. That was a big game. Long one. Left side, breaking from the left side, driving the cue ball to the rail, side rail. I think he fouled the break. No? No, he didn't. He got one in, and then one went back and came back across. Okay. So he can thin this ball and come around the table and use the use all these balls for a blocker. He could put some left spin on it. Oh, he snookered. I didn't see that. I'm glad they showed me that. The overhead showed me him looking like he had a shot. He's going to kick this ball with a lot of spin and try to knock the ball down behind the, the four, the two, the eight, the six, and the nine. This is that same shot I was describing a while ago where you want to you spin into the ball. Or he's going to roll out now. I got to call like eight different things with these guys. Or he can see the edge of the ball and he's going to spin it and try to put and go three rails. That's the shot right there if he can see the ball. He must can't see enough of the one ball. <laughs> Excuse me. He's going to kick it with spin, try to hit the like the left top of the ball and knock the cue ball down there and stop the cue ball right there. And he did it. Oh, that was a good shot. Wait. Finally, that the fast rail might have got him. Finally, once. I can't tell if he snookered or not. No, he's not. He can see the edge of the ball. See, that fast rail got him a little bit because he hit that. Really ideal. He wanted that cue ball to not move far, and that's what Rui's ball should have done a while ago when he kicked the two ball under the seven. It shouldn't have went like it did way over by the corner. 
He missed, he didn't hit that one. He's going to slow roll this. This is trickier than it looks. He probably should, he could kick this ball too. I don't know if it'll stay there though. The seven's in the way a little bit. He's looking at kicking it. You see that? This is this, a similar shot. He wants the cue ball to stick right there. But it's sitting kind of funny to knock it past the nine, looks like. Or he could thin the one over by the underneath the six and go back behind the eight, nine, two, four to the side rail. Thin the one ball, knock it to the bottom rail underneath the six, and then go behind the eight like that. Beautiful. Good shot. I'm glad I called that instead of the kick. Guys be laughing at me all day. He can kick this real slow to the side rail and try to use the six ball. But I don't think he's going to... Oh, he's going to jump it. It's still sitting kind of iffy. No, actually, well, the two... The two's in, if the two's in the way a little bit, then that makes it a little bit creepier. But I think it's real doable, and he can be uh, uh, aggressive. He'll just try to stop right there. And he did, good shot. Now he'll play the combination on the four ball on the side. The two will stay right there. It'll move over a little, and then he'll draw the cue ball off to the center of the table a little with left bottom. Well, I thought uh, Ruiz made a good shot, but that jump, jump cue eliminated it, didn't it? I think that Ruiz deserved to have him kick at the ball in that shot. He made such a good shot. Left bottom, he's going to combination the ball in, draw the cue ball over. Okay. Good shot. It was a big mistake. Uh, He's made a couple of mistakes that that's put him in jeopardy now. All right, he's going to roll this with left top or draw it past the side somehow. I would just roll it in with left top. Looks like, of course, this angle still doesn't ever tell me nothing. Can't tell if he's going to draw or follow ever from here. He rolled it. Left top, I just got a little angle. Now I'll go two rails. These guys never shoot when they get down. They do that that uh, bobbing all the time, don't they? They want to get your head bobbing up and down too. The guy's looking all over there. The shot's over here. Just put a little right on it. And that'll check the cue ball, and that way you can be a little more aggressive. Unless he's going to draw it. These guys like drawing the ball a lot, too. If he puts a little right top, it'll check the cue ball, and he can be a little... Wow, he flew around the table. That was crazy, but he came, he came out good. He had to do that, because I didn't know the six ball was sitting that deep down here. That was a good shot. This one's still tricky. He's got to hit it with a lot of inside. That's why on that three ball, they didn't show me this view right here. I would have known that he was going to go around the table. That overhead is useless to me, I'll tell you that. He's got to hit this with a lot of spin and just dink it real slow. This is a tricky shot. You're hanging yourself out to dry on these little shots. And you can't hit it too hard on this table or it'll boing. Like that. See it boing all the way back? He really hit that, that shot not well. He tried to run into those balls. I saw what he did then. He just tried to run into them and get position. He could cut this in with straight top and go up and down the table. 
He didn't want to take on that shot. He took it on in a, in a kind of a chicken way. That's why he wound up with this shot. He could just bank the seven straight back down the table and play an easy safety. Or just cut the ball in and go up and down the table, boing, 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 and play the eight somewhere. Wow, he banked it for the pocket. Wowzers. That was a tricky shot. Oh, he had position. He's left the Ruiz an easy shot. Well, he's, the ball's near the pocket. It's got some distance on it. Still ain't that easy when it's got a lot of distance like this, but I think he'll handle this. He's gonna make it and draw off the side row at right bottom and shoot the eight in the right-hand corner here on our screen. He'll hit it with a lot of right bottom. Draw off the side rail. Oh, he didn't, he didn't have an angle then. There again, they give me an angle that I can't tell nothing on. I can never tell what's gonna happen when on this overhead. He'll just stun over or roll the ball. He just stun over like that. Good shot. Boy, he used a long bridge on that. A little bit of right bottom and draw to the side rail. 6-6. Six, six. That was a big mistake by Baselgi. I'll tell you that. Ruiz to break from the right side, right bottom. Draw on the cue ball to the side rail. Doesn't want to foul the break. I don't, wow, that's again. Well, this must have deeper slates on it. They're not dropping in now, are they? Well, this one slate's deeper than the other one. I don't know. <laughs> that looks like half the, more than half the ball's in the pocket. Well, he's not going to kick at it. He's going to roll out somehow. 6-6, six, six, tied up. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. He's just gonna roll out. He'll probably roll right over there somewhere, but he's gonna leave the cue ball off the rail if he rolls over there. I mean, too far from the rail, maybe. Maybe he'll shoot the seven in and roll up like that. Glad I got that in at the last moment. Get all of these safeties and roll outs wrong. He'll just shoot this slow and right. He'll use the six and the uh, four ball to play safe. Oh, he's gonna let him shoot it. I wouldn't let him shoot this shot. I would play that shot I just said. Put a lot of right on it, shoot it real slow. Let it spin over behind the six ball and use the four ball too. Yeah, he should have never let him shoot that shot. Never. He hit it kind of funny, but he got he got away with it. He ain't gonna shoot that shot that way. He's gonna kick two rails somehow. He'll kick two rails and try to clip the left side of it as we look and send the cue ball over by the six. That's what he hopes. And knock the one down table somehow. Or no, he's gonna shoot the other way. He's gonna try to make it off the side rail. And he did. The only thing is that doesn't leave him much. He could have scratched too. I'll tell you, it's a good shot. He's got a shot. All he's gotta do is make a good shot. Oh, it's all right. I thought the three was closer to the rail. I love it when they pan in like this, and then I can really identify with what they're gonna do. He's just gonna follow this and bounce off the end rail. Or he could jack up and draw it too. He's gonna roll it. He's gonna roll it in, bounce off the end rail. All he's gotta do is make it. Good shot, very good. Now he'll shoot the 
three in the corner, maybe. Or he could shoot the three in the side, go in between the six and the four, and come back for the four in the corner. That might be the best play because uh, he doesn't want to shoot. It's easy to pocket the three down the corner, but he doesn't want to stay against the rail for the four. He'll put straight top. These guys really take a long time to shoot a simple shot. Now he's going to roll it. He looks like now he's going to roll down and shoot the four in the other corner. No, he's cutting it in the side, like I said. Nope, he's going to roll down. I think he should have shot in the side and went around, like I said. But he's still all right. He's got to hit this with the... Uh, he'll either hit it with left middle and stun it and go two rails around the six. I think that's the right shot. If he draws one rail off the bottom rail, that's the harder shot. Just jack up a little, put a lot of left on it, fire it in the side, go bottom rail, side rail. Like that. Beautiful. This guy ain't a bad player. His strokes are a little dangerous, but he, he plays all right. I still like to see him play placement pool. These guys would, believe me, have to really watch themselves. Straight top, a little bit of right, two rails. They won't be jerking the stick around in that game. I'll tell you that. Right bottom looks like, I can't tell if he's got any angle. He'll just stun over a little and it'll move over a little. Or he may have enough angle to draw down. He didn't have any. He had to draw back. That's why this overhead tells me nothing. Tells me absolutely nothing. He'll draw to the side rail here. Or just stun it and stay in the middle. Thank God I can get one right with that. It's amazing. 7-6. Paselgi. I don't know, I forgot his name all at once. 7 6, breaking from the left side. Left bottom. He's made a good break. He's got a shot. Straight top. Bounce off the bottom rail. Come back for the. Four ball down here. He might go two rails. He could go one rail if he puts it a little inside, but I think he'll go two rails. That way he doesn't have to risk the inside ball. He'll just go two rails near the side over there and take a little longer shot on the four. Unless he's going to draw around, get between the... Do it exactly like I said. He hit that well. He put a little inside on it so it would check it and bring it all the way down. He was very aggressive there. and I like the way he played that. Very good. He does a lot of things good, but his strokes are still dangerous, especially for placement pool. See if he draws back. All this herky-jerky walking around. You can't do that in that game. You've got to just shoot. Draw back and spin off or go forward and come between them. Ooh, he's lucky there. Now, there's something I could never do. I'd have froze right on the eight. He can count his blessings on that shot. He actually couldn't get away with that shot, but he did because he didn't get snookered. He'll just make this a right top and come back and shoot the six in the side. Same pocket. Perfect. And he got a little angle, too, to go. I would stun down and shoot the seven over in the other corner. Wait a minute. No, he doesn't have to do that. He can just get straight in the side there. He's got just enough room to get straight in the side. I think. If he doesn't, yeah, there. Now, this tells me more about it. I don't know why he's looking out there. All he's got to do is just roll the ball in and shoot it in the side. I think he's going to draw. He's going to draw out, like I said before. I like doing that. But he went too far, looks like. I don't know why he did that. All he had to do was just roll that in and shoot it straight in the side. That was a little strange there. 
The eight goes past the nine, so he's all right. He'll just put a little right bottom and draw over. Draw over like that. Now he'll roll this in with a little left top, maybe, or straight top. Or he'll just draw it out in the middle of the table so that it don't roll off. And he rolled it, like I said, to start with. Now he'll draw to the side rail or he'll roll, stun the ball, two rails. Stun it, two rails. That was the right shot. Baselgi leads 8-6. Ruiz breaking from the right side, right bottom. He's, he needs a good break. He needs a shot. Good break and a shot. And he got it. Pretty important to win this game or the match is over. He'll shoot this with right bottom and go to the bottom rail. Shoot it in the side with right bottom. He'll go to the bottom rail, come back between the 5-3. I think he can do that. I don't know why he's looking over there. Unless he doesn't, he's got too much angle. Looks like he can just shoot right bottom and draw off this bottom rail like that. That's what I thought, and he did do that. It was a little tougher than it looked, but it was doable. All right, he'll put right bottom back to this overhead. There we go. He'll put right bottom and just draw off. He wants to get a little angle on the three. Or if he gets straight in on it, it's okay too. As long as he gets close to it, it'll be. He'll just draw back and try to create a little something one way or the other. And that's perfect. Now he'll just draw back a little bit. <clears throat> it was important to get close to that so he could just an easier draw. He'll just draw back a little bit. Create a little bit of angle on the five. Now he'll put a lot of left bottom and just draw off the rail. A lot of spin on these. Slow the ball down. Especially as, as live as these rails are. See, he went a little bit too far there. Now he's got to hit straight top. Just missed the nine. He can't put any... He might... Yeah, just straight top. Just missed the nine. He'll have to shoot the, the seven in the left-hand corner down there as we look. I don't think he wants this. It won't hold shape. He doesn't want to take that long of a shot. He'll have to come around. I don't know what he's looking at. He's just got to play top, a lot of top. He's drawing the ball somehow. Wow. Wow. That was amazing. I didn't think he could do that. Good shot, either way. Left and stun the ball, or draw it to the side rail. Stun it two rails, like that. Now he'll just roll this and straight top, come down, or draw the ball down there, either one. Follow it like that. That's the safest shot, for sure. Now left top, left bottom. It's a big game. 8-7, Pacelli. Breaking from the left side, left bottom. Good break. Two balls in. He fouled the break, but he got two balls in. But that's, these tables break like bar tables. He's got a tough shot on it, too. All he's got to do is make it. He pretty much will get a shot, probably. It could be curtains. All he's got to do is make this shot. Gonna roll it in, probably with a little bit of right. All gotta do is make it, it's probably over. Good shot, because it was gonna hit the seven and leave him a shot, just like that. Pretty simple from here, he's just gotta go two rails. Just missed the six. Of course, just still this overhead's, I don't, Still don't know if that's what he's going to do. I can't tell exactly.
just going to draw it a little and go off the bottom rail like that. Just miss the six. There you go. Perfect. Good shot. These guys are handling these rails well. I'll tell you, because they are speedy. He'll just draw this one with a lot of right bottom. That's how he's going to slow the ball down, keep it from bouncing too far over. Or he'll just roll it with right, check it off the rail. And he stunned it just a little bit with bottom right. That's what slowed it down for you amateurs and weekend players out there. That's why he didn't bounce further and get behind that seven, is because he put that spin and bottom on. He'll just draw this one a little with left, just below center, stun it off the rail like that. Beautiful. He's played well. Left bottom, just drag the ball a little or draw it just a little like that. He just had a little draw on that one with spin. That's why it controlled it. Now he'll just stop right there. Good shot. He's played well. Ruiz made a few mistakes. Selji. Selji wins 9-7. It was a good match. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the Billiard Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.